Once again, it's on What's Up World. It's your boy, Big Excel. This is Ryan Dirty Show, the Ryan Dirty Podcast. We bridge the gap between hip hop and everyday life, bringing you what's next right now. That's right. We're not waiting for every other media outlet to cover it. We're talking about it before anybody else can talk about it. We're introducing the people to you before anyone else can introduce the people to you. Definitely, definitely out in the streets representing for the culture. All right. Got to say one time for WRFG 89.3 FM for definitely, definitely holding us down on the replays of the show. Also got to say one time for BeatBreakRadioFM.com for definitely holding us down. Plus the 10 plus streaming networks who make it possible for you to listen to the Ride Dirty Show whenever you choose, whether you're working out, whether you're cooking, whether you're riding in your car, just visit your favorite streaming outlet and type in the words Ride Dirty Radio and voila, we shall appear. All right. Let's get to this thing we call life. I got to say one time for our amazing sponsors, one time for DrJuiceCleanse.com. Dr. Juice Cleanse, an all-natural cleanser that does all kind of amazing things for your body, like slow down the aging process, like help relieve stress, like help you lose up to 25 pounds in just 10 days, they also help provide balanced pH systems and remove mucus and toxins from your body. Now, if you don't take my word for it, you want to do a little more research, make sure you visit drjuicecleanse.com and definitely, definitely find out what's happening with them. You can place a nice order. Let them know Big XL and the Ryan Dirty Show sent you. Receive a discount and start living healthier today. I also got to say one time for our sponsor, WMR Music Group. WMR Music Group, they're a marketing promotion and branding company. If you're an artist out there and you're maybe you're stalled and uh, maybe your career is not going in the right direction, well, WMR Music Group can definitely, definitely help you move in the right direction by if you have a video, they can definitely get to all the media and video outlets. If you got brand new music, they can get it into the hands of all the latest and hottest DJs. Or if you need a little A&R training and want more interviews and media coverage, they can get interviews with some of the hottest personalities the world has to offer. Make sure you visit them at WMRmedia.com. Find out more about this company. Find out how they can help get your music career to the next level. And definitely let them know Vic XL and the Ryan Dirty Show sent you, and you can receive a nice discount. Okay? Also, now, I got to say this real quick. I got to say one time for everyone who has supported our latest venture. It's called The Duel. Ryan Dirty Radio presents The Duel. It's a daily song battle right here on Facebook Live exclusively. Um, I got to say, man... I'm so appreciative of everyone who has checked out the show. And please, please, please continue to support the dude. We come to you every Monday and through Friday in the AM. It's not a set time because I do have a job, so it depends on what time I get off. But it's definitely every Monday through Friday in the AM. The times vary from 6 to 10. I know that's a wide range. But on Facebook Live, you can go back and get the update, get the notification, and watch it whenever you want to. That's the dope thing about today's society. We don't have to do things at a certain time because we can do what we want to. So, remember, support Ryan Dirty Radio, The Duel, and you might just be supporting a family member of yours who's trying to get exposure and coverage to their music. I gotta say gas face to the lighting system here in my studio. I don't know what's going on, but they got me looking extra, extra dark and crispy, but hey, it is what it is. I'm here, I'm dark, and it is what it is. All right, Let's jump into this thing. Got to say happy birthday. It is January the 3rd, 2019. And I got to say, start off by saying happy birthday to former 
female, former first lady of DTP. Happy birthday to Chicago's own, my girl Shauna. She turns 41 years old today. Gotta say happy birthday to reality star and baby mama, to my man Stevie J. Happy birthday to Mimi Faust. She turns 48 years old today. Gotta say happy birthday to me, to R&B legend. He's not necessarily what y'all would call a legend, but he's been doing it so long and consistently giving us hits. Gotta say happy birthday to Mr. Lloyd Polite, a.k.a. Lloyd. He turns 32 years old today. Got to say happy birthday to uh, one of my favorite females in the radio game. I gotta say happy birthday to one-third of the Breakfast Club, Miss Angela Yee. She turns 42 years old today. I see you, Yee. Definitely, definitely keep doing your thing. All right, I'm going to flip over here to um, Facebook, and I got to send some love and shout-outs to some of my family and friends. Got to say happy birthday to independent Detroit. Actually, not Detroit. Independent Michigan rapper, my man Justin May. Definitely got to say happy birthday to him. Happy birthday, sir. Definitely keep up on your grind. All right, let me jump over real quick to a little... Celebrity news and let y'all know what's going on real quick. Gotta say congratulations to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, or as I like to call them, Kim Ye. They are expecting their fourth child, and Kanye says he wants more babies. More babies for Kanye and Kim, but baby number four is on the way, so congratulations to Kim Ye. Also, gotta say, um, this shocked me when I heard about it, but they've been dating a while. But um, if you know my man Brian Birdman Williams, I'm baby. Birdman, whatever you like to call him, of Cash Money, has been engaged to Tony Braxton for a while. Well, it seems like B Birdman baby was like, boo, boo. No, no, no. I'm not ready to settle down. And Birdman has called off the wedding. He said he is not ready to settle down. All I can say is, Birdman, you need to sit your old tattooed face ass down and marry Tony Braxton because I don't know who else want to marry you. They, first of all, they say you're a thief. They say you steal everybody's money. And I don't know who else want to marry you. So, Birdman, please, please, sit your butt down. All right? Sit down, Birdman. All right? Sit down. Marry Tony Braxton. All right? So, sad to say that the wedding has been called off for now. But speaking of weddings, it seems like my girl Cardi B is weakening her heart. And she seems to be in the process of reconciling with her husband of the Migos, my man, Offset. So hopefully that thing will happen and they'll get back together and um we'll see what happens there. And last but not least, and uh, me and my wife was discussing this. Um, Lifetime has a series on a series coming out called um, I think it's Discovering R. Kelly or um, basically it's about R. Kelly and his felonious career when it comes to underage women, scandals, music, everything. But they have a mini series coming out about R. Kelly that's basically documenting everything that's been going on in his life bad. And, um, hey man, R. Kelly has threatened to sue. But all I can say is, R. Kelly, it comes on tonight. Why are you just now suing? Did you find out that they were doing a docu-series on your life the same time I did? You're suing? You're threatening to sue? And it airs tonight? R. Kelly. Come on, man. You know some of this stuff is true, man. Some of this stuff is true. R. Kelly, you know what? Do what I'm going to do. Sit down, eat you some popcorn, and watch the show about your life, and shake your damn head. Because that's what I'm going to be doing. All right? Now, speaking of shaking your head and definitely, definitely watching, I got to say this, and then I'm going to bring on my guests. The internet has been buzzing about this movie, Bird Box, starring Sandra Bullock. Um, I watched the movie. I'm not going to give too much of it away, but... I just want to say I don't. I, I'm shaking my head. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see what the big deal was. It was like to me, it seemed like a zombie movie, and I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I gave y'all a little hip hop news. Gave y'all celebrity birthdays, and told you about our amazing sponsor, which I definitely want you to follow on social media as well as visit their website. Now it's time for me to give you what I like giving you most. And that is the people that are out there in our streets, in our communities, definitely impacting and making change. And today is no different than any other day on the Ride and Dirty Show, as we would like to welcome the mother, Miss Naomi, of the late music artist, Sean Cos Mason. How are you doing today, ma'am? Uh, I struggle with that word, that question. How are you doing? It's not a good... 
question for me. All right, I can, I can, I can imagine, but hopefully, in you telling your story and 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 helping the world to remember your late son, it will bring some form of of peace, and at least we're going to try to put a smile upon your face today. No, well, it's not going to bring me peace, that's for sure, but it was actually good to pay homage to him because that was his sole purpose, trying to get his music. Well, he got his music out there, but not to the level that he wanted to before his tragic demise. Okay, so... You know, I mean... So let's... Uh, Let's, and I didn't mean to interrupt, let's start from the top because we, we only have like about 20 minutes. Let's start from the top. Um, your son, his name was Sean Cos Mason as a recording artist. Um, start from there. Let us know where you guys are from and give us a little journey into his life and a little journey into his demise. Yeah, um, from my Montclair, New Jersey. Um, that's when he was um, raised at in Montclair, New Jersey, and he um, got interest in, well, he was interested in music since he was two years old. So um, when he became, got into uh, middle school, he was in chorus, and he was also an artist, you know, a visual artist. And when he was in sixth grade, they had Montclair um, Museum had his artworks in the museum. And then after that, he started writing his own music, his music piece in ninth grade, and it will expire him to write his music piece in ninth grade because I became disabled, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Police officer was chasing a stolen car, and the stolen car hit me head on Wednesday, July the 8th, 18th, 2007. And so he wrote the song, you know, um, Life Hurt. And then thereafter, he started getting more involved with his um, in his music. So he joined a um, music group called, called Ice Grill. And from Ice Grill, he um, evolved into getting his own, I guess I would say his own, not label, but his, I guess be a label, but his own thing. I don't know the terms that they call him in hip hop, but he had evolved into uh, Not Illa, which is, now today actually been very influential you know in the music and fashion he started his um his t-shirt line he was well he's getting ready to start his t-shirt line before what happened to him he was um an honor society uh throughout high school you know very intelligent young man he was in college before what happened to him um he was a hard worker and um he was on his way going to work and then as he was going to work, he was the way flagging the bus that he's supposed to be on. I read the bus driver, blew past, and jumped the curb. It killed my baby. When, 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 when did this actually occur? This happened in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Um, actually, believe it or not, Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday, July 18, 2012. It like happened five years after I became disabled. So it was on the same date, Wednesday, my car accident. And the Bloomfield police officer was chasing a stolen car, but it was five years apart and in, in the same town. In 2012, you know, um, on Broad and Bay in Bloomfield, New Jersey. And um, like I say, he was there waving it down, the, the, the driver down, the driver jumped the curb, killed my son. And um, throughout my investigation, because I couldn't depend on the, the um, lawyers, because every lawyer that I had obtained, they start waiting on the side of the prosecutor of corruption that I had exposed on my son's case. You know, I had received a videotape from one of the lawyers with the prosecutor, the um, driver, and the lawyer when it first happened. And the driver gets up and demonstrates how he saw my son. And the prosecutor and, and the lawyer intervened, transit lawyer intervened, and said, oh, remember, you didn't see anyone, you know. And then the um, lawyer was saying, oh, to the prosecutor, the driver had to clean driver weapon, which all was fabrication. 
you know, through my investigation, he has like a slew of infractions. And yeah, I mean, when I say infraction, um, he not only in my son's life, he was. Uh, it, it's, you can Google Deshaun Johnson, Justice for Deshaun Johnson, and you'll see all the infractions because I put the video on YouTube and I put the infractions of the driver on YouTube. At this time, this driver is still operating the bus. They never fired him. He deliberately killed my son. And when I say it deliberately, like that, people like say an accident. I say it wasn't an accident. It was an incident. There's a difference, you know. Um, when you Google um, dangerous bus driving in Georgia Transit, I had came across a complaint. Someone, a witness had made a complaint and had, had described what happened, how he witnessed that the driver had threatened my son. And this is not any um, allegation. This is all online. You know, I was overtaken by the information that I have read online, and not only the information I have read online, even the information I had compiled from my own research. Because, again, I couldn't, it, it's just so corrupt, I couldn't depend on the, the lawyer that I had because they started fabricating to me, so I so it made me start digging in more and do more research. You know, and I put up a petition to try to, to get my son case heard back to the prosecutor office under new discovery. You know, and that's what the Miss Diane is so corrupt. I can't even get a criminal lawyer who wants to help me. They were like, oh, you know, one criminal lawyer like you guys that's actually take it to the media to expose them to put pressure. And we had did that when it first happened. We had a protest, which is also online, when it first happened, trying to get evidence, trying to get, you know, witness. And somebody had called my, my son's best friend mother and told her that there was a, a tape, a videotape on the bus, you know, because there's when the driver's driving, they always have like a camera to videotape everything. And very ironic, there's no videotape. The videotape is, is missing, you know. And and the video on YouTube that I put up, the um, prosecutor, Essex County prosecutor, Ms. Hamlin, and Deshaun Johnson's case, that's the title that is under, you hear the, the lawyer and the prosecutor talked about the video that was on the bus because transit asked the transit lawyer asked if there's a video and the prosecutor said yes. But with the interview with my son, his his lawyer, they claimed that there's no no video, which is fabrication because it's all on the video when they discussed it. So I, it, it's just so corrupt and unbelievable. I mean, my son, his friend was killed first. Her name was Fifty Noble Ross. And she lived on the same floor. They grew up together. She got killed January 23rd, 2012. And not, you know, five months and 26 days later, my son get killed, you know, by the same bus company. And I watched this young lady grew up, and they want to cover her, her demise as well, you know. And at this time, I get a lot of, well, like this one lady, her, her sister lost her leg because of the dirty transit bus driver had ran over her leg and her legs have to be amputated. And to this day, the sister is emailing me, you know, asking me to help and, you know, she to um, let's hold these bus drivers accountable. And there's nothing to be done. I wrote to the governor. I wrote to the politician. I wrote to everybody. And because I'm fighting by my own self, they just blow me away as, you know, as it's not important. There's a lot of lives have been taken in vain. You know, and I've been, I'm fighting to get law changed, and I'm fighting, which is, I think, is only right. You know, people do pay homage to people 9 11, but all these people's life was taken by these deadly bus drivers from New Jersey Transit and Coach USA. You know, there should be a memorial at each site that these lives was taken. These are valuable lives, you know. And the prosecutor, as well as some of these politicians, they just don't care. I wrote to all of them, and they just blew me away as if these people's lives are not important. And, and, and that's. That's so, this is crazy because new. So, how many deaths deaths do you think New Jersey Transit Department is actually responsible for? Oh boy, it's a host. I just got some new information from um, from the OPA law, from the um, Open Public Information Act. And from what I what was found, it was a lawsuit was in Hudson County. I'm reading off the um, the, which part that I got up. 
two correction officers set up, which I never knew, person injured lawsuit from a combination of total of $2.5 million as their vehicle was struck by a New Jersey Transit bus driver. So, and, you know, I can put all that information on my page, on my Solality blog page, with all this um, information from the Oprah app. So, um, then after that, you had... Go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I want to continue to listen before I ask my question. Okay. Do you have a New Jersey Transit driver, Tracy Moore, was arrested for DWI in Pompton Lake after crashing into a um, guardrail? She admitted to sipping brandy on the job. She was intoxicated. And, of course, nothing happened. And you have, um, it, the list is going on. I, I mean, I can read you through of them, you know, because there's a, there's a lot up here, you know. Um, Edward, to my Edward, me, Edward, a coach of a bus driver, I'm um, in New Jersey, uh, in December 2015, a bus driver had rear-ended the vehicle of this gentleman, of the passenger, and he was injured. Nothing happened to that bus driver. So basically, and, um, basically these bus drivers, uh -huh. I, these bus drivers out here operating vehicles, um, they have known driving records. And New Jersey Transit is still putting them behind the wheel with nothing? Yes, they nothing. are. Yes, they are. You know, like the driver who had, the first of all, the lady who hit, had actually on Facebook, she emailed me on Facebook because she saw articles about my son because I keep them in the paper. And the lawyer that I had, he begged me not to put the information online. I said, excuse me, they was trying to, they needed the, the um, prosecutor and transit lawyer was trying to get my son case heard out of Essex County. He was trying to get it heard in another county. You know, it's it just so corrupt because they was like, I'm exposing them. No, you end up lies as if it's not, a, like it's not anything, you know. And a lot of people don't know when they're trying to complain to make a complaint by Coach USA. A lot of people, even I just find this out, Coach USA is subcontractor of the New Jersey Transit. Coast USA is based out of Scotland, and they own by a family. I, will, I learned all this between what I was going through. Okay, man. Nothing is, go ahead. This, this, is, this is insane because this is just insane. This is insane in the fact that um, how they're trying to cover it up and silence you and... I don't even see how you even had proper time to mourn because basically you had to go from mourning to fighting for justice for your son. Yes, and I'm still fighting, you know. Like, I mean, even the, the lawyers, they was, when you hire a lawyer, you think the lawyer will be for you, you know. But when it's so corrupt and these people, meaning the, some politician who in cahoots with them, the prosecutor, you know, I found out through my investigation where somebody had called me and gave me, tipped me off, telling me the head prosecutor was used to work for New Jersey Transit. And he covered up not just my son's demise, but everybody else, because my son's life was taken up on the county road. And the head prosecutor, you know, which was county, was just actually biased and conflict of interest. He was on the scene. And in the video, somebody... Somebody called me up, I don't want to mention names, but someone who I know called me up and said, you know, Neil, me see if it's this in your darn name is on in your son's case. I said, well, okay. I, you know, I didn't look, I didn't really look thoroughly. However, the video that I obtained by the lawyer, in the video, the lawyer and the prosecutor have a discussion about this guy, this in your name, this in your darn. And the lawyer said, oh, the this in your darn. You don't have to worry about anything to the driver. This is the dorm. It's going to take care of everything. You guys can see that video on yourself on YouTube. I put it right on YouTube, you know. And even the deposition that I just received, here the, the bus driver, he sat here and he lied on the oath. I also put that online, you know. When you lie on he should have been in jail, you know. It, it, it's, when I say it's, it's crazy, you know, I didn't have time enough to mourn, you know because I'm still fighting, 
And not only that, the way that I had, who I thought was for me and my son, you know, he tells me, oh, we're going to go to the mediation, and I'm going to bring out images of your son, and I'm going to let you know when to leave. I said, okay. So we get there, and he just pull out the image, and that's all I said. He just said, my son. Man, that's... Bring that image, and bring that all over the place. This is this is this is so saddening, and and corrupt. Um, in 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 taking up you know, doing what any mother would do, and trying to um obtain justice for their child. You've also embarked on some other things, like your son started a clothing line, and you actually picked up the ball and ran with that. Tell me a little bit about that, and also tell me about the fun that you've created. Yes, um, what I did, like, I picked up, you know, Carol on his clothing line because on his not ill blog, he said we bring fashion. So I'm pretty much just turning on his mission statement on his blog that he had established, you know, with a friend, friends of his and who they turned into not ill. So what I do, I actually do textile designs, and I go to New, I do New York Fashion Week. And the reason why I do not New York Fashion Week because a criminal lawyer told me you got to get the people involved. So I said, well, where can I go get the people involved? I'm saying to myself. And I said, well, you know, Fashion Week because there's a lot of publicity there. You have people who does underground. They have people who does, like, cover, the news covering and everything. So what I do, I every year I design a print, textile design a print with music notes. And I opened the show up with that and had not ever on it, which paid homage to my son because he was a hip hop artist, you know, who was by Sean Cox Mason or Sean M or Sean Mason. Because when he was in high school, he was Cosmos, Todd, Sean M, he changed it up. And so not Illa actually is my son's tagline. If you Google, you hear him say not Illa, which is his tagline when he sung a rap. So what I did, so I, you know, it's the not Illa collection. And not only that, I also do um, custom-made, you know, by hand. I do all my own sewing. I do my own pattern making for the clothing line. So that's what I do. And not only that, I also open up a non, non-for-profit, which is the Sean Johnson College Scholarship Foundation, because my son was in college. He went to Kane University, and he went to Essex County College. And what they did, they started a scholarship in his in his um I don't like to say memory, I just say in his honor. So what I do, I try to raise up money to um give to the college and award a uh, a student with the Sean Johnson College Scholarship Foundation every year. Okay, that's that's all his, 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 um, legacy alive. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. Miss Naomi, my heart goes out to you. 90 seconds. Goes out to you because I'm a father. I have, I have, man, I have, I have three sons and I can't even imagine what you're going through. Then not to mention basically the cover up and injustice that's being done um, to your son. That, that is crazy. Um, what I want to do, because we only have a couple minutes left. Um, I, I want you to give out some information to the people for they can continue to do research on your fight, continue to do research on the New Jersey transit system, as, as well as um, give out information to where they can find out more information if they want to contribute um, to the um, scholarship fund, as well as if they want to obtain some of the clothing. Sure. Well, what you can do, you can go on my blog, Solality, S-O-U-L-A-L-I-T-Y blog. I put all the information up there. Or you can Google Justice for the Shine, you know, and you'll see it. You can find me on um, Instagram, not Ella Store, or not Ella Collection, on Instagram, and not Ella is N O N E I L L A H, not Ella. And um, you can Google Sean Kais Mason if you want to listen to his music. His music is on iHeartRadio. His music is on um, over, so he really established himself before what happened to him in articles about his music, you know, endeavor. And the scholarship, you can um, Google um, the Sean Johnson College Scholarship Foundation. You know, his name is D-E-S-H-O-N Johnson, J-O-H-N-S-O-N, the Sean Johnson College Scholarship Foundation. And you also need Google um, the Sean Petition, which is on change.org. 
you know, people to sign because I'm trying to get at least 2,000 signatures to take it to the um, administrator again, the politician trying to get a law passed. You know, not just for my son, but for all these lives taken in vain. All right. Again, sister, please, please keep pushing forward. Continue the fight. As anything we can do here at the Ride and Dirty Radio Show to help you out, we are definitely, definitely, definitely in your corner and definitely here and willing to help spread the word and help you fight. Um, I want to close the show. I have this. We appreciate it. I have this song. Can I say something? On March the, I'm sorry. And on March the 5th, I know I have a fundraiser scholarship for him in July the 8th. March the 5th is his birthday and July the 18th when his life was taken. So those two months, I have something for him. I'm trying to play his music on those two months. All right. Definitely look. Do me a favor because as it gets closer to that time, definitely, definitely reach back out to me. And um, I love to do something, even if it's a show a uh, 30-minute show dedicated to getting your son's music heard and I'm um, bringing you back on to talk about the fight, okay? I greatly appreciate it. And you guys can catch me in New York Fashion Week on the 2nd and the 9th. All right, now I got to say, share the information with I got to say, I was just on the Instagram page and the clothing is off the chain. People, y'all definitely, definitely check out the clothing. The clothing is fire. It's off the chain, and you're definitely doing your thing. And I know your son, I know your son is smiling from heaven above at the work his mother is doing. I'm getting ready to come out with a book, and the book is to expose the corruption of New Jersey Transit. So I'll be getting, the book will come out, like, within two months from now. All right, well, guess what? You got a friend... So it, you got a friend in your corner with the Ryan Dirty Show. So, like I said, as you progress, whether it's book, fashion, um, tribute to your son, I'm in your corner and I'm here for you. You know how to reach out to me and we can definitely get it cracking. I greatly appreciate it. Do me one I favor. Greatly appreciate do me one favor in closing. Introduce this son this song by your son as we close the show. Sure. This upcoming song is called, actually, that song was a tribute to me called Life Hurts. And that's because when I was in an accident for Bloomfield, he like, I don't know what I would do. If, I won't know. I don't know what, what I would do if my, my mom was gone. So he wrote that song called Life Hurts. All right. Thank you so Come much. Me. Thank you so much and blessings to you. Thank you. Something on your mind? I want to let you know you're sitting in my chair. Is that a fact? Yeah, it's a fact. Well, for a man that don't go heel, you run your mouth kind of reckless. Uh, uh, you go heel, get the bones uh, and come like you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One for a cause, so I can put with the stars. Get from the back of applause. This time to act no applause. This is his back, so I'm scarred. Put to react, that's my cause. Hop on the back of my horse. I'm slain with thoughts of rage, exhausting my anger, reciting thoughts of rage. Some days I thought things would get better, but when it rained, it poured, then it just got wetter. I thought I could endure the pain, endure the weather, but by myself it's all the same. Some more pain and harsh weather, cried to God, told my name and wrote my letter, but then thoughts got severed, disrupted by your ruckus. When the roughest the me came out, I got some stuff to sort out. I finished this letter later because, yeah. I got some things to take care of. So life hurts, never seems like it's like walking might hurt. Walking seems like a dream, just a sight search. Always seems like I lean from the light curse. All the things hit your brains like the pain when you bring up the things that may stain through your veins with this spike shirt. Yeah, it might hurt, it might hurt, it might hurt. Yeah. So life hurts, and now I'm back and get sit back again and trap this and get back it and get back. I never got better, but then thoughts got 
I disrupted by your ruckus. Then the ruckus to me came out. I got some stuff to sort out. I finished this letter later because uh, I got some things to take care of. So life hurts. Never seems like it's like what it might hurt. Walking seems like a dream, but for sight search. Always seems like I lean from the light curse. All the things hit your brain, like the pain when you bring up the things that may sing through your veins with this fight shirt. Yeah, it might hurt. It might hurt. It might hurt. Yeah. So life hurts on myself. Talking to me, talking if he walks in my dreams. Starting to scene, blurring the screen, awake and sweat, screaming in dreams. Even to breathe, easy to see, it ain't easy for me. Walking to live, living a dream. Seasons will change, not waiting for me. Hating to see the future of he. He is from me, sometimes me. I'm just greed, gotta break free. Either by the lead that you grip or the lead that I squeeze. So I'm writing and rewriting a masterpiece that writes a massive, massive scene. Cause I gotta let out the frustrations and trapped in me, trapped in seat and agony. And never better put my thoughts together and undistracted by any form of weather. I think this time I could write my letter, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So life hurts, never seems like it's light work. It might hurt, it might hurt. So life hurts, never seems like it's light work. It might hurt, it might hurt. So life hurts, never seems like it's light work. It might hurt, it might hurt. So life hurts, never seems like it's light work, it might hurt, it might hurt. So life hurts, 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 so life hurts. Alright, that was my man Sean Mason. Gotta say rest in peace to my man Sean Mason. And um, definitely one time for his mother, Naomi. All right, it's your boy, Big XL. We're out for the day. Y'all definitely, definitely check us out in the AM with another edition of The Do. Ryan Dirty Radio, we gone. Peace. My pieces be like sometimes it be three, two. Peace. Y'all know, get the hell out of here.